if that's, if that's what we decide to do. Removing the discount that we have that, that people subscribe online would mean that we have to have frontline services. We have to up the amount of people taking phone calls in the street scene in the call centre. And we estimate that would cost £60,000. To fund that, we would have to cut the price up to £32.50 for everybody who subscribes online. So that would mean 33,000 people in the world would have to pay more for their bins. Um, at least there are local authorities doing things this way now. You can check that if, if you want to. Not all of the customers who are paying £35,000 are paying because they're digitally excluded. A lot of people are choosing because they want to use the phone centres. Uh, some people have got um, commercial properties or commercial customers. There are housing associations, private apartment blocks who prefer to do it this way, the invoice for it. So not all the people who are paying the £35 are paying because they're digitally excluded. So the figures are, are, are warped in that, in that sense. We now have 38,005 people, 105 people who are, who are doing this. And we're, and we're collecting that from 18, 90 cents of the garden waste that we were doing before people had to pay, pay for it. Uh, you mentioned payment of your leases, uh, of the leases that we were going to talk because I think people need to be informed, we digitally exclude, obviously you need to be informed of methods where you can actually come along and sign up online. And there are things out there like the library, like the one-stop shop site, and I should have, I should have saved some interest. But they actually pay it and have got um, a service where we can do that. But people don't know that they exist. Now we suggested that what was some sort of notice into the council tax letter going out to everybody would be an ideal way of telling everybody. And if you can go away and the cost of this is ten thousand pounds and want to know where it's it, where that's going to come from. It can be done in two ways. You can just put a paragraph in the letter in the council tax letter and it will cost nothing. Or what we can do is we can open it up. The council is doing it completely differently now. There's loads of things that people don't know are available. So we can put that information out to every member of, of, of the world, tell them that they can come in and they can get all the services and use them in the telephone booth. So that's still up to debate, and we can go either way, whichever way we want to do it. Um, if we are concerned about older people, you know, we don't need to be making political statements about paying £10,000 for a lease and that's going to help them. You either want to support them in helping them, or you don't. But I am committed, like everything else is committed to the truth, to reaching people who are excluded, whether they're socially excluded, digitally excluded, because of money or whatever the reason. All of us here in this room want to do exactly the same. And I don't think we should be making political points. I think what we should be doing is finding methods of actually resolving the situation. Thank you.